In this video, I want to talk about the concept of autocorrelation amongst your error terms. And autocorrelation is just another word for serially correlated errors. So if you see the word autocorrelation, you should know that it's completely analogous to serial correlation. So what does it actually mean to have autocorrelated errors? Well, imagine I have some regression model, which is yi is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus some sort of error ui. Well, serially correlated errors means that there is some covariance between ui and some other, other error, us, which does not equal zero for some t, or for some i rather, which does not equal s. And what are the actual consequences of serially correlated er errors or autocorrelated errors? Well, it means that originally, if we assume that the Gauss-Markov conditions are true, then least squares estimators are what we call blue. So that means that they are the best linear unbiased estimators possible. So what does it mean if we have serially correlated errors? Why is it not the case that OLS is no longer blue? Well, OLS is no longer blue because of the fact that there are other estimators which are better and they're still unbiased and they're still linear. So it's actually the B that goes when we have serially correlated errors. So what does it mean for an estimator to be better than least squares? Well, if we think about drawing the sampling distribution for two different estimators, let's imagine that we looked at the sampling distribution for a least squares estimator. And in the presence of serial correlated errors, the estimator, the least squares estimator, is still centered on the true population parameter beta p. So this might be the sampling distribution for beta hat least squares. But in the presence of serially correlated errors, then there are other estimators, which I'm not going to go into now, but they are slightly better than least squares. So this might represent the sampling distribution for another estimator, which I'm going to call, built, I'm going to call here beta tilde. So why is this second estimator better than least squares? Well, what it means is that if I take a sample from the population and I use big beta tilde rather than beta hat uh, least squares on it, then beta tilde will get closer to the true population parameter beta p more of the time. And that's because it's got a sort of more narrow sampling distribution. In this video, I also want to talk about how autocorrelation can actually occur. And there are three main ways in which autocorrelated errors can actually occur. The first is if we omit an important variable. So how can it be the case that omitting an important variable can actually lead to serially correlated errors? Well, the reason for this is because in economics, typically we're talking about variables which have a degree of persistence. So talking about persistence through time if we're dealing in a time series. So if we omit a variable which is persistent through time, then that variable is implicitly going to be contained within this error term, ui. And because that variable is persistent through time, there is going to be some persistence in ui. And that persistence in ui is going to manifest itself in terms of we're going to get some sort of positive test for serial correlation or autocorrelation in our model. And because of that, we know that least squares estimators are no longer blue. But note that this is actually symptomatic of a far more serious problem, which is that of omitted variable bias. Because if we're omitting an important variable from our regression, and if that variable is correlated with the independent variable xi, then that's going to be indicative of omitted variable bias. How else can we get autocorrelation? Well, if we have functionally misspecified our model, we can actually get autocorrelation occurring here. So what do I mean? for a model to be functionally misspecified. Well, imagine I have some xi and some yi, so I have some points, which looks something like this. And the way I've tried to draw these here is to indicate the fact that there is some sort of curve in the data, so perhaps it's some sort of inverted u. But if I instead don't realize that there is this sort of curved nature, um, what well, this curved connection between y and x, and I fit just a straight line to it, you can see that we're going to have runs of negative residuals followed by runs of positive residuals, which is indicative of serial correlation. But again, functionally misspecified models 
is actually a more serious problem than the fact that OLS is no longer blue. In principle, if you functionally misspecify your model, then your OLS estimators will actually be biased because they're not actually capturing what the true effect of X is. Here, in this model, as I've drawn it up here, there is actually some sort of changing effect of X as X changes. And you can sort of see that in the curve line, which I've drawn now. So serial correlation or autocorrelation in that context is also indicative of a more serious problem. The final way in which we can get autocorrelation occurring is if we have some sort of measurement error. And here explicitly I'm talking about measurement error in the independent variable. And the way in which this, manifest, this manifests itself in serially correlated errors is because of the fact that if the measurement error is persistent through time, then that measurement error in XI is actually going to be present in UI. And because there is some persistence in that measurement error, that is also going to lead to autocorrelation. So note that each of these three things are kind of ways in which serial correlation can appear in your model. Uh, I'm not really talking about, I suppose, true autocorrelation, which strictly is something a bit different. And each of these three problems actually pose much greater problems than the fact that OLS is no longer blue. In each of these three cases, OLS will no longer be unbiased. But note that having serial correlation is often symptomatic of having more serious problems with your model, as well as the fact that OLS is no longer blue.